so we were watching the presentation and you're seeing this, you dissect almost Frankenstein, mm. this creature. Uh, what, when did this start and, and how long was the process? Uh, it started August, for me, August of 2017. Um, but the, you know, we can really credit 20 years of, uh, of technology development and visual effects. You know, we, we finished this because of all the steps that came before of attempts to do digital humans. And we looked at where it, where it had been at the start and decided that, yes, we thought we could get the rest of the way there. And then it was a credit to the, all that detail and what the uh, artists and the scientists at Weta did to uh, pull it off. <laughs> what about you? Uh, we started around the same time. Okay. Um, uh, definitely in the beginning you start with conversations, but at some point you realize that you have to commit and start building the, the young digital uh, will. Um, it takes a long time to put that together. Even with all the sort of history that you're building upon, uh, a, a digital character can take anywhere up to six or seven months to do. On this particular film, we went a lot longer. So like a, a really important digital character like this can take over a year. So we, we worked on it for about 18 months. Right. You know, Even the last shots we're doing on the film and the last weeks of the film, we're still tweaking the character, trying to make sure that he's, he stays on that. that Part course. of the problem, it, it's it's not just creating a digital human, it's creating a digital Will Smith. So yeah. you know, you, you are not there when you have someone who looks like he's a, you know, he's, it's a real person. It's, it's got to have the likeness as well. And that's that was actually as much of a challenge as the science of the skin and the, the poor quality, just making sure it always looked like Will Smith. Well, I, one of the things I was noticing with the presentation is the eyes. I mm. think that would be just difficult to, because there's life in eyes. When you usually see a character like this, there's not really life there. It's right. just a, a character. How, what was that process like? So there's, there's two sides to that. One is you have to make the eyes look right, right? Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is you have to model them correctly. We model all the dimensionality of the eye so that, it's not just a white sphere with a, an iris textured onto the front of it with a highlight on it. It's actually got all the volumes of it properly, even to the point of having the choroid on the inside of the eye so that you get that slight tinge of blue as it goes towards the iris. All that kind of stuff you have to get right. Uh, the way the eyelid merges with the eye is incredibly important. But if you make a frame of the eye look amazing, then all it takes to just completely sabotage that is bad animation. So it all comes down, you know, it then passes off to the animation team um, who, who just study it constantly, work on it constantly. They have to just keep it moving in an organic way so that you always feel that the eye has life. A lot of times when we see um, an effort at a human face that isn't done as well as it could be, it's because some part of the animation just feels a little bit dead and it just starts to feel a little bit Botoxy, like the face is kind of falling asleep. Yeah, and we did, we shot a lot of reference. We shot Will Smith in, in situ doing the performance. We had him, you know, cameras capturing him when he was doing the reads. We had uh, Will's acting double on set to refer to. So we would always have something when we looked at looked at a work in progress and said it wasn't quite there. We'd have something to point to. It's, it's really the 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 last five percent of doing this is as is as hard as the first ninety five percent by orders of magnitude, and it becomes subconscious. You know, you even us as artists couldn't necessarily point to it and say. Without that reference, say, look at that. That's off. We, you know, you'd have to compare back and forth to find out what's uh, what's you know triggering you that this isn't right. What was the most important uh, visual aid for you guys? Um, it was Will's Will's capture. I think it was the most important. I mean, uh, yeah. to get the performance, yeah. definitely Will's capture. Yeah. To get the result that we ended up with, Will's filmography. Yeah. We have to end this right now. You have all of his gifts without his pain. You made a person out of another person. Then you sent me to kill him. You made a choice to do this to me. This thing that you are struggling with is fear. Embrace it and then overcome it. Of all the people in the world to come after me, why would he send you?